Hey Save It Box fans, so today is Sponsorship Appreciation Day, which we celebrate on the 15th of each month. So I thought I would touch base a little bit on what sponsorship is, how you can sponsor, and how sponsoring helps Save a Fox. So what sponsorship is, is sponsoring an animal in need here at Save a Fox Rescue. Each animal can have up to three different sponsors. Uh, we update our sponsors via our Instagram, so every week you'll get at least one photo update of your sponsored animal, as well as your name tagged as a sponsor and a sponsor certificate. So depending on the species of animal, um, our fox sponsorships are $95 a month and this helps cover the foxes feeding, the foxes um, basic necessities pretty much like their bedding and their caging and just the one-on-one -on -one time that everybody spends with them. So by sponsoring an animal here at Save a Fox Rescue, you are literally helping save a life. So. Huge shout out to all of our sponsors out there. I just wanted to do a special video thanking all of you for helping Save a Fox by contributing and being a Fox sponsor. So now that I talked a little bit about sponsorship, I thought we would do another tour video. So we are starting here in our newest Fox yard, which is Mouse and Waverly's yard. So I will show you guys around. So this is actually our squirrel cage. We have wild squirrels that we feed and we have this tunnel system we made so that they can easily access the yard without being harmed by any foxes. So here we have Waverly. Hi Waverly. Over here we have Mouse. Hi Mouse. So Mouse and Waverly are the only two foxes in this fox yard. Both females, best friends, and then they have access to the house through that little portal. Isn't that neat? And our last virtual tour I did, I had some requests to touch on some of the other animals we have here. So we're also going to be showing some of the other creatures. This is Phoebe and this is Xander, two of our mink. So that's one of our mink enclosures. Okay, so now we are leaving Mouse and Waverly's yard and we are moving on to Bongo's yard. So first we see Shadow over here. Hi Shadow! We have our newest fur farm rescue. Whoopsies! She's still very, very shy. So she doesn't have a name yet. The sponsors get to name the animals. So if an animal comes here that doesn't already have a name, the sponsor gets to decide on the name. So Bongo's over here. Hey, Bongo. You good boy? Yes, you are. And do we have Archer and Duchess together today? Duchess is in the little house. So Archer and Duchess are in here. And as you can tell, some of the animals are in cages and some of them are not. And that's because in the wild, foxes are solitary animals. So we have to rotate them as to who gets along the best. And they typically get along better in smaller groups. So today, is not Archer and Duchess's yard day. So they're in their cage and Duchess is relaxing in her little fox house. Hi Duchess. And I also often get asked if I do all this alone, and definitely I do not. We have lots of wonderful volunteers and Save a Fox employees that help um, work. So now we're going to look for Nikita and D'Amika, our two gray fox species, are also in this yard. D'Amika has a favorite corner, 
which is right here. Hi. Hi, Damika. You want to come here? Or I can just zoom in on you. Hi, Damika. So gray fox species are actually considered nocturnal. So they are a lot more active at night. Uh, Nikita usually likes to sleep underneath one of these enclosures. So we probably won't see her during this video. All right, so this is also a fox enclosure that is connected to the house. So the foxes have access to be able to go up and down if we let them. But it has Oh, uh, you can't really see it. It has a trap door right there, so if we don't want anybody going up and down, we shut it. Bongo doesn't know how to get down, but he knows how to get up, so when it's Bongo and Shadow's yard turn, we typically leave it closed, because otherwise we have to rescue Bongo multiple times during the day. All right. Thank you, Mary. Mm -hmm. So here we have our play mink pen with our obvious warning sign. People don't realize that mink are very aggressive animals even though they are insanely adorable. So this is our only large mink cage with a pool that we have. Because we only have one large mink enclosure and several mink, we have rotation. So every day of the week, one of the mink get a chance to have playtime in the pool enclosure and today we have Clementine and Plum who's right there. So they were swimming around earlier today. Mink are considered semi-aquatic animals. So in the wild, they do spend half of their lives in the water. Oh, we have Chi Chi over here. Chi Chi is my personal pet mink, so I use her for educational programs. Hi Chi Chi! And she's actually 100% deaf. Okay. We always have little projects going on, so we have some, we're redoing this walkway right here. So that's why it looks a little bit messy, but that's okay. So this is what we call the main fox yard because this is our biggest fox yard and the first fox yard we constructed. So we got Shiloh. Hi, Shy. Shiloh actually prefers to be in his cage rather than in the yard, which is really funny. When he gets yard time, oh yeah, he has yard time today, actually, and he's deciding that he wants to be in his enclosure. And we have Luca and Jack sleeping down there. The reason we have this on some of the enclosures, we call this bite guard. Um, that's not the real name for it. It is hardware wire and we call it bite guard because it prevents foxes from fighting between the cages and pulling off toes or ears or tails Because not everybody gets along, right? We have Pan over here We'll go in and say hi to him so Pan is going to be the next fox that we're going to be introducing to the fox yard soon. He still needs a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time. The reason we have to make sure they get lots of one-on-one -on -one time before introducing them to the fox yards is because we need to be able to make sure they go back in the fox yards at the end of the day, right? Pretty soon, buddy. Oopsies. And then we have Scotch. 
so Scotch has already been introduced to the fox yard, but he has having a little bit of a hard time going back in his enclosure at night, so we're still doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one and working with him. He is a really good boy, though. He's just stubborn, aren't you? So we've been taking him out on a leash. And no foxies in here. We have Valentine out here somewhere. I'll see if I can find him real quick. If not, moving on. He might be in a fox den. They have a lot of those dug around here. Oh, there he is, under the trampoline. So I just moved this trampoline into the fox yard and they haven't figured out how to use it yet, but I'm kind of excited for them to start bouncing on it. Because imagine little foxes bouncing on a trampoline. Aww. Hey Val, are you relaxing? Such a cute boy. All right, we will move on to one of our next fox yards. So a little bit back to sponsorship. If you are interested in sponsoring an animal, whether it be a fox or a mink or a cat, um, we do take in a lot of different species. Just go to our website, saveafox.org, Fill out a sponsor form. Please allow at least two weeks for a response. We have a lot to do around here, so <laughs> sometimes emails are the last thing we are able to get to because the animal care comes first. And we've been a little bit short-staffed because of COVID-19. All right, so this is our fox cat yard. So these are the foxes and cats that co-mingle and live with each other. All of our cats are rescues. This is Notch. Notch is my personal kitty cat. Here's Vixie. Hi, Vixie. Here's Matthias. Hi, Matthias. Here's Dixie Doo. Are you a sun basking? Oh, is it Dixie Doo? Oh, is it Dixie Doo? Oh, is it Dixie Doo? Hi. Oh, is it Dixie? Yeah, it's a good girl. Oh, it's a good girl. Now, let's see. Where's Finnegan Fox? Finnegan! 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 Call him. Say Finnegan. Well, we'll take a quick look for Finnegan. This is our rescue kitten enclosure, so when we get stray kittens brought to us, um, they go in here until they get adopted. This is Stevie and McQueen's cage. They just go in here at night, but they are out running around right now. Hi, Finnegan! And here's the star of the show, Finnegan Fox. Hi, Finn, say hi to all your fans. All right. So that is almost everybody except for Stevie and McQueen, the two other cats, which they're just hiding somewhere. Oh, Notch went in the box. All right. Quick house tour. So the whole entire house is set up specifically for the animals, pretty much. Um, we don't typically leave our shoes out because the animals will pee and poop in the shoes, so shoes go in the wardrobe or on top of the wardrobe. Basement. So this is Mouse and Waverly's room. So this is the first yard that we start in, so they have that access to go out to the fox yard from that hole right there. 
This is another one of our mink enclosures. Like I said, we rotate all of the mink so they all get a chance to go in the pool cage. And this is Coco back here. Wow, we have to clean that glass, Coco. So you're gonna notice that I have no furniture in my house because I have animals. <laughs> and furniture and animals just don't mix very well. So right now, this is Kipper's room. Hi, Kipper. So Kipper is our newest rescue. Oh, well, he's so excited now. Hi, 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 are you excited? Are you excited? <laughs> so we got his little playpen here. Um, this would typically be somebody's living room, but as you see, no couch. Schizo is taking a nap. Hey, Skits. All right, Kipper. I'll see you later. This is our chinchilla enclosure. We have our baby mink right over here. And in here. So they all come out and they all get playtime and they all get to run around. Oopsies. So when we let them out to run around, we have our fancy dancy little slidey thing right here. And then that's how the mink get their playtime. So last time you guys wanted me to show you the reptile room. So this is the reptile room. The reason I've never showed it is because honestly, the snakes are always hiding, so you're not gonna be able to see much. But uh, Citrin's out. We got two tarantula enclosures, um, two boas in here. We have a boa in here. We have a milk snake in here. Um, baby boa in here, adult milk snake, and a rescue gecko. And you might notice some of these enclosures don't have water dishes, and the reason being is because I bathe each one of the snakes weekly, and it's just, it's a good just animal husbandry thing to just take your snakes out every week, bathe them, just to make sure they're healthy, everything's going well with them. Um, so yep, yeah, this is the reptile room. This is back into Bongo's yard. Now we have the rest of the fox yards to show you. It's a little bit of a walk over there. So, here we go. Camera. Lots of gates. So I'll see you around. Okay, thank you. Yeah. This is Jax, one of our volunteers' dogs. Hi, Jax. Who's oh, a good boy? Are you volunteering today? Yeah. All right, so this is Francesco Winter Yard. So we have. I'll just point them out as we see them. So this was typically, or sorry, not typically, originally, originally going to be our Arctic Fox yard. Um, but luckily, Arctic Foxes do very well mingling with other foxes. So we have Fox Foxington here. Hi, Foxington. We have Winter. Hi, Winter. Oh, now you're awake.
Here's Francesca. Hey, Francesca. Hi. Who's oh, a good girl? And Francesca and Winter are best friends. Aren't you two? And they're gonna be getting adopted together soon, which just makes room for us to be able to rescue even more foxes, because that's the whole plan. So what Save a Fox does is we take in foxes and then we adopt them out to other qualified homes or sanctuaries so we can continue to do our work and rescue. Now I just need to find, oh, there. That's Esme. She's kind of like the mama fox of the fox yard. She's the oldest one in this fox yard. She is, I think she's about five years old now. Oh my goodness. Hi, Esme. What is this? Is this a ball? Oh, it's a broken ball. What'd you do to it? Oh, look at your toys showing off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at you showing off. Ready? Ready? Get it. <laughs> you are just a playful little one, aren't you? I love Winter. We have so much fun and she's so chatty. She loves to talk, don't you? Are you a talker? Can I get it? <gasps> All right, moving on to the next fox yard. So she loves when we race along the fence. I win! I beat you! <laughs> In my fox socks and sandals. All right. Now we have Mala's fox yard. So here's Mala. Hey, Mala. Here's Milo. Hey, Milo. And where's our newest tripod girl? Oh, she's over here. Hi. So this is Firefly, our newest fur farm rescue. And she's actually coming around so quickly. All of the fur farm rescues we've ever taken in that were adults, this girl has come around the fastest. Nearly right away, we were able to introduce her to the fox yard and get her to go back in her enclosure at night. So, <laughs> love her love all of them, but it makes it easier on us when they're easy for us. <laughs> and look how beautiful she is. All right. And it looks like Malachi. Mal. Malachi is still waiting to shed off his winter coat, so he's hot. Mal, when are you going to shed your winter coat? Aren't you getting a little hot in there, huh? And he's such a good boy, though. And then Skeeter. Skeeter! Hi, Skeeter! You good girl. All right, I'll let you guys get back to relaxing. Hey, pretty ladies. All right, 
And the last bit of the animals. We got our rescue horses, Trinity and Essie. They are Passos. And of course, Dakota. Already thrilled to see me. So we'll see you and then we'll see the horses. Guys, look how excited you are. Hi, who is the good boy? Who is the best of the boys? Who is the best of them? Who is the best? Who is the best boy? Who is it? Who is it? Yeah, he always gets so excited and he pees all over. Yes, he gets potty excited. He pees on me. Yeah. Yeah, Dakota. Dakota. And then the horses see that Dakota's excited. So then they want attention. Yes, oh, so is a good boy. So Dakota is a rescue that came from um, a petting zoo that got shut down and all the animals were seized. So Dakota came to us along with a few foxes and raccoons, which we did transfer the raccoons to a raccoon sanctuary because I don't work with raccoons. And then we have you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they love each other. Were you giving the coyote kisses? Huh? Look at you. Who is my pretty boy? Who is my pretty boy? You are. Dakota's getting jealous though. He is. You jealous? Did the horse give you kisses? So Dakota loves the company of the horses. They're buddies. Aren't you guys? You're buddies. And then Essie's very shy, so she's just hanging back there. Essie is Trinity's mom. So they were a dual package when I rescued them. She's, she's really the true rescue. She needs, she has a lot of health problems, but if I was taking her, I was taking her son, right? Which they are herd animals anyways, so they should have companions. All right. So I think that is the end of the tour this time. If I missed anything and you guys want another tour and you want me to specify something else or talk about something else, just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to make that video for you guys. So thank you so much for supporting Save a Fox Rescue. Make sure to check out our website, saveafox.org. We are on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and YouTube. And then my personal Facebook is also public, but I don't just post animals on there because it's my Facebook as well. So thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.